Hello and welcome to this video lecture on using the VLOOKUP function in Excel. First off, what do lookup functions do for us? They can help us find values in a table of data and insert them into the worksheet in another location. This can help reduce the amount of time for typing when you're creating documents such as perhaps an invoice or a receipt, or it can also reduce the typing when you're just trying to build a set of information and it will reduce the amount of data entry you need to do on the worksheet. What is the syntax of a lookup function? And the VLOOKUP uses four arguments. We have equals VLOOKUP open parenthesis, the lookup value followed by a comma, table array followed by a comma, the column index number argument followed by a comma, and last the range lookup argument followed by an ending closing parenthesis. You'll notice that three of these, lookup value, table array, column index number, these three arguments are in bold and therefore are required arguments, while the range lookup is an optional argument. Now, the lookup value represents the cell containing the information that you want to look up. It's also going to be what's in the first column of your table array. The table array represents the range of cells containing the information to be looked up and brought back. They will, like I said, contain in the first column the value that we're going to be looking up or the lookup value. The column index number represents the number of the column in our table array which should be returned. It will not be the first column, so it will not be the number one. It will be at least the second column and it could be other columns depending on the size of your table array. So it will at least be a two or greater. The range lookup, our optional argument, will be blank or true if you're working with an approximate match or it will be false if you're working with an exact match. Now, approximate match versus an exact match. An approximate match is when the lookup value is found within a range of perhaps numbers or um, items that are found in the first column of your lookup table. The, one of the most common that people are used to seeing are grades. In school, grades A, B, C, D, and F are generally set on a percentage. So if you, for example, have a overall grade percentage of 90% or higher, it would be an A. From 80% to 89.9, just under 90% would be a B, and so on. This would be an approximate match. An exact match is when the lookup value must match one of the values found in the column of the lookup table. Let's do a VLOOKUP together. Here I have data on employees, and you'll see that I have employee dental plan selections, health plan selections. So we're going to go over and calculate here in columns L and M the annual dental rates and the annual health rates. We're going to use a VLOOKUP. I've already set up some lookup tables. Here I have the dental plan monthly rates and the health plan monthly rates. I have defined the cells for columns one and two, just the actual data, as a defined name of dental rates for the dental plan. And I use the name health rates for the health plans. And I'll use those defined names as part of my formula. I'm using an Excel table so it will copy the formulas down for me. All right, I'm going to start my formula with equals V lookup, open parenthesis, launch my dialog box. Now I need to pull in the lookup value. I'm going to be using the value shown in column H. So I'm working in row 2, so I'm going to type in H2. I'm going down next, tabbing down to the next one, and my table array is next. Now when using this, if you're having trouble remembering what's what, use the information shown 
for help here on the screen. My table array, remember, is dental underscore rates. The column I would like to bring back is the second column, so I'll type a 2. This must be an exact match because you're going to be charged based on the plan you selected. So I need to type in false. Click OK, and I get here $10. It's pulling over just the amounts of the monthly rates. So I need to add to my formula with times 12 to convert that monthly to an annual amount. And you can see it's filling in nicely since I'm working in an Excel table. If you'd like a look at that again, it's equals VLOOKUP, open paren. A reference here in my lookup value is to H2. This is where I see my actual dental plan selection by the employee. Dental rates, my table array, is referencing this area over here that's using a defined name. And I'm bringing back the second column of the table because my table is this area here highlighted with red. And I have two columns. And I wanted an exact match, so I needed to include the optional argument and put in false. I multiplied that entire VLOOKUP times 12 to convert from the monthly rate to the annual rate. So that's a pretty simple and straightforward means of doing a vertical lookup. Let's go ahead and try that again. And I'm going to do it without actually opening up the dialog box. So it's equals VLOOKUP, open parenthesis. The value I would like to look up in this case is which health plan did they select? I find that in I2 for this employee. The table array, again, is my table name. And in this case, since we're doing health rates, it's the health rates table. I see it there. So since it's highlighted in blue, I can use my tab key to push that value in. It's a two column table. So I'm going to bring back column two. And again, it is a false because it's an exact match in the optional argument. Close the parenthesis. Multiply that times 12 to convert it from a monthly rate to an annual rate. And that's my formula. If you'd like to look, again, there's the formula. You can see what it's referencing. And it's populated it down since I'm in an Excel table. More of my lectures can be found on YouTube by searching for Renee K. Clark and then subscribing to my channel. You will find a variety of Excel lectures available as well as selected other lectures.